This is Victor Campos, and we're going to look at one more aspect of WordPress. So again, I'm logged into my WordPress installation, uh, localhost slash WordPress slash WP dash admin. And in my dashboard, we've looked at posts, pages, and appearance. Let's look at media. Click on media. This is where it will store all your pictures and videos and such. I don't have any at the moment. So I can simply select add new. You can drag and drop or select. And I've got some media in my downloads. So I'm going to select my company logo. Let's see down here. I'll do this one and this other logo. So they, they were both uploaded. And now if I look back in my library, my media library, here they are. Here they are listed. It'll tell us if they're attached to any page or post. So I'm going to say over on my page, look at my pages at uh, the about now oh, maybe I'll do it under contact. You can edit anything you've previously created and I'm going to say website design by and I'll put in my company logo so we can do add media and now that I've got media uploaded I can go here and select the item various properties of the item, but we'll simply say insert. Now the image is added. Update. And then see how it looks like for regular visitors. Contact this page there's my logo back home this picture was added remember by copying and pasting the link to the picture so this is actually on someone else's website and the great thing about WordPress is that it will keep track of all of your pictures that you've uploaded where they've been used and if anything changes about it, it will update itself to all pages. So the media library in WordPress is a very powerful feature.